So that's what we did in the various types of equations, which were all basically linear equations. If you remember, we said that in all these equations, whether it is equations in one variable or equations in two variables or equations in three variables, each of the variables was raised to the power one. So we say all these equations were equations of degree one. Now we move over to another very important concept that is quadratic equation about which I already mentioned in the introduction part of it. Now a quadratic equation generally, a general form of a quadratic equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Here if you see a, b, c all of them belong to the set of real numbers and they are constants, they are numbers and this x square is the variable. Take an example of say 2x square plus 3x minus 2 is equal to 0. So this is a simple quadratic equation where a is 2, b is 3 and c is minus 2. Now here if you see the degree of the equation is 2. So when the degree is 2, Whenever the degree of the variable is 2, there have to be two roots. When the degree is 1, there is only one root. When the degree is 2, there are two roots. But yes, there are cases when both the roots are equal. So, whenever you are talking about this kind of equation, we solve it this way. So, these equations are on the basis or in the number of solutions and the number of roots depends upon the degree of the particular equation. A simple quadratic equation like this x square minus x minus 6 is 0 can be solved by simple methods of splitting the middle term and factorizing it. We can write this as x square minus 3x plus 2x minus 6 is 0. So what basically we are doing is we multiply a and c we get minus 6 1 and 2 minus 6 is minus 6. We need to find two numbers which on adding give b that is minus 1 but on multiplying give minus 6. So the only possible values are minus 3 and 2. So we split up minus x as minus 3x plus 2x. You take common terms and you get x into x minus 3 plus 2 into x minus 3 is 0. So we get x minus 3 into x plus 2 is 0. 0. So the product of two numbers is 0. Mind you this is valid only for two numbers. If the product of two numbers is 0, so either the first number is 0 or the second number is 0. So we get x is equal to 3 or x is equal to minus 2. Hence there are two values of x which satisfy the equation. As I said earlier for a quadratic equation needs two solution and it has got two roots. Hence, 3 and minus 2 are called the roots. In short, they are even called alpha and beta. Alpha is the name of one root and beta is the name of the other root. So, the quadratic equation is of the form x square minus a is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is 0. And just for convenience sake, we always keep the value of a as 1. For example, if the same equation is in the form of minus x square plus x plus 6 is 0, it would be smarter to multiply all the terms by minus 1 so that you get this. So this is how you have a quadratic equation and all the quadratic equations will have two solutions. Many of the quadratic equation may not be possible to factorize. Hence we have standard formulae for finding the roots of a quadratic equation. Right. So this is what is a basic understanding of what you mean by quadratic equation. More so, more information on quadratic equation and how to solve them, we shall go ahead further and we will see what it is. So now as I said earlier, we have ax square plus bx plus c is 0, the standard form of a quadratic equation. What are a, b, c? If you just review, they are all real numbers. So a could not be a number like root minus 3. It can be minus root 3, but it cannot be root minus 3. B can be any such number, any real number. It could be rational, irrational, but it's a real number. So if you look at it, ax square plus bx plus c is 0. Here if you see a is 2, if you compare b is 6, 
and C is equal to 4. So the value of A, B and C have to be very, very clear. Sometimes they could give it as, you could get it as 4A4 minus 2X plus, uh, 2X squared plus X is 0. So you cannot take A as 4. You need to rearrange this so you end up getting, take, you can take everything to the other side or you get minus 2X squared plus X plus 4 equal to 0. You can divide by minus or multiply by minus 1. You get 2X squared minus X minus 4 is 0. So this is a standard quadratic equation here a is 2, b is minus 1 that is the coefficient of x and c is minus 4. So this is going to be sorry this is going to be b and this is going to be c that is b is going to be minus 1, c is minus 4 and a is so this is what we need to understand what the coefficients are because the formula involved for finding the roots would involve the coefficients of the x square x in the last term.